Luigi's Mansion 3 is without a doubt one of, if not my favorite Nintendo Switch game to date. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, Nintendo went ahead and announced late last year some new multiplayer DLC packs. Luckily though, you don't have to wait much longer because earlier this week, Nintendo dropped the first of two multiplayer DLC packs nearly two months in advance. That is pretty insane. We've heard many times of games and DLC packs getting delayed, but we've never really seen them come in advance, especially like two months in advance. That's pretty wild. This first DLC pack was originally slated for April 30th. However, if you search on the eShop right now, you're going to be able to find it and download it for $9.99. Nothing quite says hype like some new content, am I right? Anyways, this first DLC pack is pretty great, and if you've ever played the limited but fun multiplayer mode in Luigi's Mansion 3, you're going to love this expansion on it. This pack includes three new mini games for Scream Park, three new Luigi outfits, three new floor themes, and six rare new ghosts to hunt for in Scare Scraper mode, and if that's not enough for you, buying the DLC also includes a cool little bonus which gives you access to a special in-game flashlight that actually projects a little silhouette of the adorable little Palter Pup whenever you flash it. It's really a cute little add-on. The new Scream Park minigames include Tricky Ghost Hunt, Dodge Brawl, and Riverbank. Tricky Ghost Hunt will have you hunting down ghosts while avoiding a haunted floor filled with electricity. Dodge Brawl lets you play dodgeball with poltergusts and fruit. It's really a thing. I'm not even making this up. And my personal favorite, Riverbank, has you dodging logs coming down a waterfall while you collect as many coins as you can. As you can imagine, this one gets pretty chaotic, especially if you have eight players out there trying to collect as many coins as you can. What you also get here are three new Luigi costumes for co-op scare scraper mode. These are just as bizarre as you would think. They include Mamiji, the Green Knight, and Groove EG. And I'm not even kidding, Groove EG. He's certainly a sight to behold. I mean, just look at that head of hair. If you haven't played scare scraper mode though, you're really missing out. The co-op adventure here, especially with online players like all over the world, it often leads to some very interesting outcomes to say the least. Like, it's hilarious. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot going on and it really is awesome. As I mentioned earlier in this video, Luigi's Mansion 3 is without a doubt one of my favorite Switch games bar none, and I am really, really happy to see Nintendo extending the replay value of this game through multiplayer. Whether it's co-op mode, Scream Park, or Scare Scraper, the multiplayer experience here in Luigi's Mansion 3 really does make for some hilarious moments, especially with these new costumes. Even though this has nowhere near as many minigames, I would actually go out of my way to say that this is Mario Party level fun. I really wish that you could play these mini games online with other players like all around the world, but like Mario Party, I think the overall experience here ends up being better with a group of friends together laughing and shouting at the TV screen. It really is better together. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. You know the drill. And until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Get out there, go game, and have some fun. I got the Joy-Cons right over here. Peace!